Pledge of Allegiance, let's take a moment of silence to honor our veterans who served in the military and lost their lives while serving the country. Memorial Day is quickly approaching. Let us remember those who sacrificed their lives, not just on this day, but every day. Please stand to recite the Pledge of Allegiance and take a moment of silence for all the veterans who sacrificed their lives for this country. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Welcome to the town board meeting of May 16, 2024. Before we begin, for those who are visiting for the first time, I'd like to introduce the board and deputy town clerk. So the far left is council member Brandon Glory. Next is council member Sandra Griglioni. Next is Council Member Teresa Luongo, and next to me on my right is Deputy, S Deputy Clerk Nicole Young. Sorry, I got messed up over Tim, he's missing. <laughs> and I'm the Town Supervisor, Kate Luciani. Thank you everybody for attending the Town Board meeting tonight. I'd like to start with a presentation from our Eagle Scout, Evan Polly. I just finished my Eagle Project at the Res. Um, I built wildlife signs, which I have bear, fox, deer, and um, I'm forgetting one, but um, geese. Yeah, geese. Yeah, geese. Yes. Uh, we built them a few weeks ago, and I, they, they look great. I don't know. Um, if you guys want to see pictures, I can show them. Team effort. Yeah. Awesome. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. So we'll have to make sure that we all go down this town board and check out the yeah. pictures and everything. Yeah. I also need I need a signature. Um, okay. I can sign that for you. Thank you so much. presentation from another almost Eagle Scout. <laughs> uh, Daniel, do you want to come up and tell us?
in the picnic tables at the gatehouse. And uh, this will be very helpful as it will, because like they're opening the gatehouse more like for events soon. <laughs> And uh, it's going to be open to a, a lot of programs and a lot of people soon to come because uh, it's looking a lot better throughout the years. And uh, the more projects each scout do does, uh, the better the day house looks. So uh, the, it'll help with the Woodbury Public Library, the summer reading program, the men's club, the community association, uh, <laughs> climate smart committee. It's used by the community and <coughs> scouts, kids and adults can have a place to sit, enjoy, sit and talk, read. This can be used to sit and meet to, and have meetings. Anybody, including veterans, can join, sit, and it can be beneficial to all and help with events and for an enjoyable day at the gatehouse. And having a picnic table will allow the gatehouse to be more presentable
got my pass, and I remember I used to talk to you all the time because I worked in a pool company and you were always looking for lifeguards and things like that. And you know, um, you always made me feel a part of the community. Like you were definitely to me what I remember Woodbury being. And then through all the years of you know me being around, seeing you at every single event, so like every Christmas event, every Easter event, anything that was done through the parks, you were always there from the beginning all the way to the end. Mm. You know, they would have dances and. Joey would tell me, we'd be sitting there talking as we were cleaning up, and he's like, yeah, I've been here since the morning, setting up and everything, and putting donuts out, and then he was there to the very end, you know, and he always, you know, did an amazing job, an incredible job, and recently we got to do the um, homemade pasta, and he had to help me after my surgery, I couldn't need my pasta, so he did it for me, and he made his homemade meatballs and shared it with everybody. And that's Joey. Joey's somebody who just gives back to the community. He does so much for the community. Um, and we're extremely grateful for him. So I would like to have a motion and a second to approve the proclamation. I'll make the motion. I'll second. Any discussion? Anybody else like to make any comments? I'll save them for the end. Okay. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passed. So I will. Huh? Yeah, so I will read the proclamation. Maybe not do as good a job as Brandon did last night. <laughs> Whereas, okay. You just said that word about 20 times. <laughs> so this proclamation, the town board of the town of Woodbury named Joseph Jean Zarrow, Woodbury Citizen of the Year. Whereas Joseph Jean Zarrow, a lifetime, oh, sorry, lifetime, sorry, a long time town of Woodbury resident, parks employee who oversaw the parks for the past 15 years, and recently the parks director for the past four years. And whereas Joe G. and Zaro, or Skyline Joey, as he is known by many, served the community with his own local business, going above and beyond to assist others, caring for others, and building relationships with countless residents. And whereas Joe G. and Zaro also served the town of Woodbury as the president of the Woodbury Chamber of Commerce for nine years, head of beautification committee in the town parks and recreation committees, and whereas Joe Jean Zaro has been a member of the Woodbury Community Association for numerous years, was also a previous president of WCA, and continues to actively serve on this committee. And whereas Joe Jean Zaro continuously serves this community and has been fully present at every parks event for almost two decades. And whereas the town board wishes to honor Joe Jean Zaro for his many years of exemplary service to the town and local community. Now, therefore, it is hereby resolved that Joe G. and Zara has been chosen as the Citizen of the Year of the Woodbury Community Association on this day. This was May 15th yesterday, <laughs> 2024. Thank you, Joe, for everything you did. Thank you. 
and move on to administrative business. Acceptance of minutes. Can I have a motion and a second to accept receipt of the minutes of the town board meeting held on May 2nd, 2024? I'll make a motion. I'll second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passed. Approval of abstract. Nicole, can you please read abstract number 10 for this meeting? Yes, abstract number 10 contains vouchers 240757 through 240867, totaling $544,791.39. Can I have a motion and a second to approve abstract 10 as well? I'll make the motion. A second. <laughs> <laughs> Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passed. I think it was Teresa and Sandy. It was a tie, but they can give it to Sandy. <laughs> Budget modifications. Nicole, please read the modifications to the 2024 budget prepared for this meeting. Yes, we have the police, the New York State DCJS grant. We're increasing B3389 state aid other public safety by 25,000 and increasing B3120.203 card live scan by 25,000. Then we have gas fee and computer replacements, increasing A1320. 0.401 gas lead by $375, increasing $8,0599, the appropriated fund balance by $375. We also have another one for gas lead and computer replacements. We are increasing A1680.200 central data processing equipment by $1,106 and increasing the $8,0599 appropriated fund balance by $1,106. Thank you, Nicole. Can I have a motion and a second to approve the modifications to the 2024 budget as read on the screen? I'll make the motion. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passed. Next is the acceptance of resignation. Can I have a motion and a <coughs> second to accept Nina Barjun resignation as account clerk for my office? The last day I worked was May 3rd, 2024. Make the motion. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. <coughs> then we have the promotion of Police Sergeant M. Farabachi. It is my pleasure to announce the promotion of Michael Farabachi to Sergeant. Officer Farabachi has excelled as a police officer in the town of Woodbury and has scored in the top tier of the promotional e exam. Can I have a motion and a second to accept Michael Farabachi's promotion to Sergeant effective May 18, 2024 at the rate of 6126.84 C line rate of pay. I'll make a motion. Second. Any discussion here? All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passed. Congratulations, Sergeant Farabachi. Congratulations. Appointment of full-time police officer. I would like to announce the increasing of hours of, of police officer Anthony Feliciano from part-time to full-time effective May 18, 2024. Now, I have a motion and a second to appoint Officer Anthony Feliciano as a full-time police officer effective May 18, 2024 at starting rate of 36.71.44, the current V-line rate of pay. I'll make the motion. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passed. I want to wish Officer Feliciano con continued success. So now to old business, accept award bid for number two fuel oil. Nicole, can you please read the bid as received? A bid opening was held on May 13, 2024 at 10 a.m. for the supply of fuel oil, two for various town buildings, July 1st, 2024 through June 30, 2025. The bid notice was printed in the time of record on April 24, 2024, and the following bid were received. A Reynolds and Sun Inc. They will deduct <coughs> 20 cents per gallon off the current selling price. They will offer a capped price lock for the heating season, and they will provide 24-hour service. Thank you, Nicole. Can I have a motion and a second to accept the fuel oil bid received from H. Reynolds and Son? Make a motion. Second. second. Sorry, Teresa. <laughs> Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passed. Accept award bid for cocaine. Nicole, can you please read the bid as received? A bid opening was held again on May 13, 2024 at 10 a.m. for the supply of bulk cocaine. The bid notice was printed in the time title record on April 24, 2024, and no bids were received. 
Can I have a motion and a second to reauthorize the town clerk to advertise for bids for purchase of both propane for our community center located at the rest? I'll make a motion. A second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passed. <coughs> Next is to accept the award bid for both chlorine. And Cole, can you please read the bid as received? A bid opening, again, was held on May 13, 2024 at 10 a.m. for the supply of both chlorine at the J.P. Burke Memorial Pool for the 2024 summer season. The bid notice was printed in the time trial record on April 24, 2024, and the following bid was received. Rush of pool and supply, offering $4.30 per gallon delivered, $4 fuel surcharge for delivery, and a $4.40 regulatory compliance charge for delivery. Um, the notated quote will be subject to an escalation clause. We did receive another bid from QN Chemical, but they submitted a letter stating that they were unable to bid at this time. And I have a motion and a second to accept the first option submitted by Wexler Pool and Supply. Motion. I'll second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passed. New business, engaging services, Hudson Valley Wildlife Nuisance Control. We received a proposal for the of nuisance removal. The town board needs to submit a letter of authorization providing permission to Richard Crawl access to the town of Woodbury property for the purpose of animal nuisance traffic. The proposal covers all setup and a fee of 350 for each fee removed. And I have a motion and a second to accept this proposal submitted by Richard Crawl at the Hudson Valley Wildlife Nuisance Control. Make a motion. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passed. Approve amendments to employee handbook. The employee handbook was amended to cover updated language in, in the rest breaks for nursing mother section <coughs> and the political advertising in the workplace portion, which was added as section 1007. Can I have a motion and a second to approve the amended employee handbook? I'll make the motion. I'll second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passed. Now we'll cover department committee reports. The first department report is the supervisor's report. Nicole, can you please read the supervisor's report for yeah. April 2024? The April 2024 supervisor's report with receipts totaling $292,551.74 and disbursements totaling $1,233,704.80. I have a motion and a second to accept the April 2024 supervisor's report as read. I'll make a motion. I'll second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passed. In addition, the following reports have been submitted for the town departments and committees. The town clerk's report, April 2024. Animal control report, April 2024. The police communications report, April 2024. Building grounds report, April 2024. Building and Rec Committee minutes, April 17, 2024. Library Director's Report, April 2024. Library Minutes, April 2nd, 2024. Unification Committee, April 4th, 2024. And Budget First Actual, April 2024. Now we move on to public comments. Does anybody from the public have anything they would like to say which is not related to the agenda? Mm -hmm. Everybody, uh, my name is Stephen Gargano, and this is Janelle Barsoom. Um, just want to thank Eagle Scouts, and you guys are doing a great job. And um, thank you very much, and, and Joe, see you up there at the pool all the time and stuff. So congratulations, definitely. Um, it's great for you to receive that uh, recognition. So I'm here tonight. And Joe, can I have her last name? Barsoom. B A R S U H N. Thank you. And just make sure you're mic on. There we go. There we go. Okay. Um, so I submitted some pictures and documents to the um, to the town clerk. So hopefully you guys got all that, which is a background of kind of what I'm here for. So on September 8th, we had a catastrophic flood. This wasn't the first time this happened. It happens. My neighbors here as well. Happened three times last year. And uh, overall, kind of following up on some of the discussion that was in um, when I went to the village, Supervisor Burke was there, and um, 
Joe, I thought it was you, but it wasn't. There was somebody else who he brought the town engineer over, um, looking at you know the corner of where this happened. It was a gentleman with a beard. Um, um, he worked for the parks department, maybe um, I don't know, but he was there along with the um, with the town engineer. The discussion was um, for a retention pond to be put onto town property, which would curtail the water you know, flowing down. So following up on this, I kind of, there's three things, short term to long term, that I think hopefully we could all you know, agree on or cooperation. One is, uh, in the pictures you'll see, there's debris that's from cut trees and logs and stumps that are in that, that creek bed area. Um, it's imperative that they are cleaned out. You will see pictures. The water picks them up, brings them downstream, blocks the culvert, uh, this side of the tennis courts. And uh, we've had instances where the highway department's had to come with a backloader and pull out very long. I mean, this isn't you know, someone's firewood from the two houses there. I mean, this is just, it's debris. So I think ultimately that's something that we can do short term that would help not alleviate it, but definitely help, you know, causing a blockage. Um, the second is regarding the runoff from DP3, which goes on to town park land. Um, you know, I bring this to your attention because there was the instance with Clovewood and the call with the DEC on certain developers not following <coughs> rules and the runoff onto public land or onto private citizens' land. Um, you guys, I think, are in a great position to help advocate for us. Use me as the poster child of the ultimate effect of what happens um, because someone needs to get in touch with the DEC. And I hear, well, did you get, what am I gonna do? I'm asking, you guys have, you guys say, this is parkland, this is runoff, this is environmental. If, if you know, cooperatively, the town and village could do something and get on them to hold back their own water, which, you know, I don't know, um, supposedly, it was told to look at the final resolutions of approval with all amendments of when that development was passed. There are rules in there that say that they're supposed to um, keep their own water in a retention pond and it would be revisited. But from that picture, hopefully you saw, they have a culvert pipe running directly off their property and running directly down into underneath, uh, underneath the road onto the town property. Um, if you look, I saw there's a FEMA requested to repair that bridge. If you walk that bridge, that bridge was not destroyed by a lightning strike or a fallen tree. That's the volume of water. So regardless if you fix it tomorrow, there needs to be, for the town property as opposed to myself, that needs to be fixed. So either you put the retention pond up up the road, I know the engineer was in, that'll help preserve the town property and fix it so that the bridge doesn't wash away for the residents, also for everyone else downstream. And then where you go and you get the money from, you can turn around to DP3 and say, you build it, you pay for it, you put it on your property, but ultimately I'm trying to bring up solutions and not just kind of, of complaints um, with that. So. That's really my three, the short term, which is helping to clean up that area. Um, two, which is getting the weight of the government, you guys behind us, to protect the citizens, um, getting the DEC involved with whatever it may be, which ties back into our comments at the village, which is you know, these developers seem that they're able to build with impunity, and if they just wait long enough, someone forgets what the rules were, or everyone throws their hands up and says, well, I don't know what we can do. You know, I'll write a letter or I'll ticket them. But ultimately, this is kind of coming into you guys are the stewards for us. Help us. My house has been there since 1965. It isn't a new development. I know you guys are, are, are great things and very collaborative. And the reason I'm here was there was nothing that 
you guys can do in the middle of the winter. And coming here and saying, fix it, clean it up. <clears throat> it's springtime now. Um, hopefully we can all agree. And um, that's kind of, that's where I am. So I appreciate it. Thank you so much for coming and I appreciate you explaining to all of us, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Jimmy A. Highland Mills. So, first off, I'm going to apologize to everyone because at times I can be very negative. I, I, I know the complaints. And, you know, it's growing up in the city. It's growing up in the city. It's, it's, it's the constant feed I get, you know, the negative issues, the crime, everything else. So I tend to see it. I tend to see it, and, and, and it's, it's, it's hard not seeing it. But then I come in here, was it Evan, Daniel? Mm -hmm. I see these guys, they're doing something that I would have never done at their age. I didn't see it, I didn't see the value with it. But I, 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 I'm speechless of what you guys do, and I see your commitment to the community. Eventually I expect to see you guys sitting there, taking over for Joe, who's another guy, <laughs> who, again, Joe. You are at everything. I speak to a lot of people, and you know what? You are what Woodbury is about. And, and you know, I, I'm glad to meet you, and I, I wish there was more ways I could, I could help you. But my issue is this community. I moved to Woodbury, Woodbury because I thought, small, nice town. The town boy, the village boy, Joe, the Eagle Scouts, Stephen, lifelong resident here. I understand change, every area changes, but there comes a point where change doesn't work. This man did not do anything to warrant this. He didn't put up solar panels, and that's why the water's leaking. He did not um, in, in repave his driveway, and that's why he's flooding out. This is somebody else's fault. At this place, and I'm sure some of you know, I've engaged one of the prior town council members about selling property. No one's selling property to plant the garden, to, to grow a lawn. They're selling property for develop, development. Developments generally, there's many repercussions to others, okay? Who's, who's fixing this man's house? Who's coming to his aid? We already know about Clovewood and South Blooming Grove, but every time I hear about a new development in Woodbury, I cringe. I'm, I'm waiting for Whatever that development is at 105 and um, 105 and Thruway, whatever they're doing, I just watch them move a lot of earth. Well, when you move earth, trees, grass, and everything else, water has new routes. Stephen, when did you start flooding? It wasn't 20 years ago. It wasn't 10 years ago. It's all recent. Not your fault. And we all know what the cause is. So we're gonna have 105, the water's running out there, and then how long before we start, they start building in Ace Farms? As long as I'm above Ace Farms, I don't care. But what about the four homes below Ace Farms? What are they gonna do? So this man has to drag himself to all these meetings and plead for help, plead for help, plead for help. But where does it stop? These developments have to be completely scrutinized to such an extent because we know what the effects are. Stopping them in the middle of the building and, and, and the cutting down the trees is not the solution. There has to be some other way of doing this where I saw, I'm, sh I'm sure you guys have a video. Imagine going to your house 
You're a pretty big, strong guy. But he couldn't open the door. And he forced over to open the door up. open, and the flood that came out, I would have went, went nuts. Okay? I had a little flood from Idaho. It was this much water. In the basement, nothing. We mopped it up, we vacuumed it up. I don't even know what I would, I would do in that situation. But the whole thing is, at this point, the cause of his problem should have been addressed then, not now. Even we fix the problem. What has happened to him is just unfair. It's just wrong. These developers don't care. These developers aren't evil scouts that all of a sudden want to be developments. The people that care, we know who they are. Part of it is we have to stop it, the people that don't care. They see this, they see this town and village as an opportunity. They 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 sway elections. They do they 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 they, they just ignore rules. There are no penalties. There aren't. And it's just like, what is the answer? It's a very very negative way of looking at things, but until somebody's able to stop these developments, put on handcuffs, find them, find them so that they truly have to reconsider every aspect of these projects and who it affects. Because Stephen is not going to be the first one, okay? And it's going to be our fault if we allow it to happen again and again and again. You know, I, I, I wish we're here five, ten years from now, and I'm speaking to Evan and Daniel on that board. Because they care about the community. I mean, to even join the scouts and just do the projects, I love it. And it does. I'm going to be up here on a regular basis, and you know me. I'm always complaining. But at the same time, I feel I'm fighting for Woodbury. I do. And I apologize if it comes across the wrong way, but when this long-term homeowner is catastrophic, okay? Your home got violated. No matter what we do, no matter what we stop, what development we stop, no matter how much we find them, your home is never the same. It's like the new car that, that they got to dig. You fix it all you want, it's never the same. And that's not right. That really isn't right. And whether it's the town, the village, or just anybody, I mean, there has to be something you guys can do. Just even, you know what, your presence at these developments, like, you know what, stop, what are you guys doing? I mean, I don't know what the answers are. I don't know what the rules are. But it, it kills me to see a homeowner, somebody who's invested in this community, suffer through this. Thank you. So I wanted to announce that. 
That information is also on the Town Clerk Facebook page, which is an initiative that Nicole started uh, in our office. We do a Facebook page where we announce a lot of great information for the town, as well as um, if you're having a garage sale, which you need a garage sale license in the town of Woodbury to hold a garage sale. And if you give us permission, Nicole's gonna put it on our Facebook page to advertise for you. So please be sure to check that out. And that's all I have. Thanks. Thanks, so sorry. Uh, I want to thank the board for uh, um, hiring Anthony Feliciano full time. Um, he will fill the full time spot that Mike Barabashi had. Mike Barabashi, thank you for uh, approving his promotion. Worked with Mike for 16 years, well deserved. He filled the spot that was vacated by Sergeant Bruce over the tire. Um, Joe, congratulations. I deal with you a lot, not as much as you used to, because the building is, has been going great. Um, so I appreciate it. Eagle Scouts, again, to, uh, to uh, reiterate what Jim said. You guys have a lot of credit. I didn't do it. I wasn't a volunteer. I still don't volunteer, but I think I do enough. Um, to our attorneys, welcome. Uh, Thank you. I'm glad you're here. I hope that. I don't have to work with you ever. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's an option. <laughs> and that's really I'm for that. <laughs> that's really about it. Um, again, thank you. Thank you, Chief. Thank you, Chief. Oh, Memorial Day is coming up. We historically know what that means. It normally brings a lot of traffic. Um, we also have a uh, possible uh, presidential motorcade. Um, the, I believe the president is going to be going to West Point. Uh, that's Memorial Day weekend. We also have Memorial Day parade. So just be mindful over the Memorial Day weekend, probably going to have additional traffic in the way. Be safe. <coughs> Look forward to seeing you. Thank you. Thank you. Any of our attorneys, do you have anything? Any All right, nope. we're going to start at the end. I should really skip over you and let the women kind of speak. <laughs> I'll, I'll give it to you first. <laughs> yeah. Uh, thank you. Um, as always, I'd like to thank everyone for coming out tonight. Um, I'd like to let our residents know that the Woodbury Police Department will be starting their Summer of Safety program at the Res. We will have a table set up staff with their firearms instructors and or SWAT operators who are most familiar with gun safety and will be best equipped to speak to best practices in safe firearm storage and handling. This is meant to be based on the community outreach ideals and therefore they hope to simply connect with our residents and engage in constructive dialogue concerning firearm safety. So we'll keep an eye out for dates and times. I'd like to welcome our new law firm to the town board, and I very much look forward to accomplishing great things with you guys. Well, welcome aboard. Thank you. Uh, the Eagle Scouts, I mean, tonight you heard a lot, you know, it's just a small example of what they do. Every time they have a project, they make one very better. You know, whether it's at the res, the gay house, or anywhere else, um, we're lucky to have them. And uh, I thank you for your volunteer efforts. Thank you. Uh, and lastly, I had the opportunity last night to present Joe Gianzaro with uh, Citizen of the Year from the Woodbury Community uh, Association. Um, I'm trying to get a little choked up here, but, you know, I, I started coming to the, the parks committee meetings and eventually became a committee member and eventually the chairperson for the parks and on and on and on. And Joe had been there guiding me, educating me from, you got insurance, you got insurance, you know, we got to have this, you got to have that. Um, you know, and you become a friend. And I'm privileged to call you a friend. And as I said last night, you know, Woodbury is lucky to have somebody like you. So, Joe, thank you for your selfless commitment to our community. And um, I'll see you tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> That's all I got. Thank you. Council member. Um, I too would like to thank everyone for coming out. And just some community news. So on Saturday, this coming Saturday, uh, May 18th, there will be a Rosemary Garden and Walkway Blessing sponsored by the Cemetery of the Highlands in their newest section at the rear of the cemetery. That will take place at 1 p.m. Um, for all of you that have, well, actually, I'm looking around and 
that's a movie. Um, who grew up in Woodbury and graduated from Monroe Woodbury. I did. But there's no. <laughs> You're not the majority. Um, the Monroe Woodbury Mega Reunion number two will be taking place on Saturday as well, beginning at 10.30 a.m. at the Rose Baron Day Camp, 12 School Road in Monroe. All former and present Monroe, Monroe Woodbury alumni and faculty are welcome. Uh, cost is $20 for general admission, $10 for students with ID, cash only. Um, there will be live music all day from Monroe Woodbury alumni bands, as well as food, beer, and wine trucks. Um, some choice classic cars will also be on display. Pickleball courts will be available. That tells you an age thing. <laughs> um, those attending are asked to bring uh, their own chairs, no coolers, no dogs, and no children under 12. So that's taking place on Saturday. And then on Sunday, <laughs> what? No. and then on Sunday, um, May 19th, the Friends of the Woodbury Public Li Library will be having their first book sale from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Woodbury Senior Center. It's a great time to browse and purchase books for your summer reading at discount prices. And in conjunction with the book sale, a very ambitious and passionate seventh grader named Ava Sapna will be selling her annuals and annual and perennial seed links to support Odyssey of the Mind and PAGE, Parents and Advocates for Gifted Education, at the Senior Center as well. Um, and finally, I would like to thank Joe. Um, I know that he's helped mold a lot of young people um, by hiring them for summer positions, and then he's just watched them flourish. So you've really been a special part of the community, and I think everybody's in agreement with that. So that's all I have. Thank you. Councilmember Wanda. Hey, a few things. Um, this week was National Police Week, so just ask everyone to remember <coughs> officers that were killed in the line of duty. Um, two events. One this Sunday, May 19th at 2 o'clock, Climate Smart, uh, one with the Historical Society, is having a presentation by the New York State pollinators so you can learn about local plants and bees, and it's at the community center. And Sunday, May 25th, at the diner from 1 to 2, Salvation Army is having an event where they're going to be giving out um, some supplies of hygiene kits, diapers, uh, sack lunch, and a food box, as long as resources for people that uh, may need. I want to thank Joey for being such a great person. You're always volunteering at every event. Um, we need more people like you. And I uh, wish you the best of luck. Thanks. And I want to wish uh, Sergeant Farabashi and Officer Feliciano um, good luck in their new roles. And to our lawyers, we hope you enjoy working with Woodbury. I want to stay here for a long time. And to the Eagle Scouts, you guys did a great uh, job. Um, we definitely need more young people to get involved, and it's just great seeing what you uh, are going to do. Thank you. Thank you. Deputy Town Clerk, Ms. I just want to say congratulations to my dad. <laughs> um, we are very, very, very proud of you. Um, I remember being a little kid and you were still doing stuff in the community. And then you were never home <laughs> in the summer, <laughs> ever. Always um, working seven days a week, always at the res, always at the pool, making sure everything was working great. So mom has been very um, understanding of all of that over the years, and we are very, very proud of you. Thanks, Nicole. So I just want to thank everybody for coming. I feel like if I could label like this meeting, I would call it a like, community, you know, because I feel like that's really what resonated from with a lot of people and what they shared and you know what came up here, um, you know, from the Eagle Scouts to Joey to Steve, you know, to Jimmy, Sherry, you know, everybody was sharing about the same stuff, which is looking out for our community, being a part of our community, and that's why all these board members here ran, you know. I mean. We started off doing community service, wanting to be a part of the community. Like I said, I reached on to Joey, and you know he brought me into the, the community, coming here, listening to music, going to the res, enjoying the parks, things like that. And I made a lot of friends by you know start doing we are Woodbury stuff, and 
you know, Sandy doing the food pantry and friends with the very connections, like, you know, um, I really, I, like I said before, I admire what the Eagle Scouts do, like, um, just, when you put your hands into the ground on your community, you care about it a lot more, and that's something that, you know, makes you want to work for it even more, you know, and at such a young age for you to do that. Usually when we're older, we do that because we want our kids to appreciate what they have. But to see young kids do that is amazing, you know. And like I said, and exactly what Jimmy said and everybody else, you know, you will be here one day, you know, because you'll be the voice to stand up for your community. And when you hear things that are going wrong, you're going to, you know, be on the town board and, <laughs> and make sure that things are going the right way. Um, and the other thing I just want to remind everybody, the Memorial Day is on the 26th. The Memorial Day Parade is on the 26th at 1 o'clock, starting Bond Street going all the way down. You know, um, we really ask, I know that people look at it as like a weekend to just barbecue and hang out and drink, but, you know, just try to remember what Memorial Day is about. You know, it's the people that aren't here anymore that fought for our freedom. And so for a few hours for you to stand along the line of the road and see all of like our veterans coming down, you know, really means everything to them. And, you know, every time we go down and we see them at, you know, the memorial and stuff like that, it truly means everything to them see people standing there and remembering what they, you know, gave and, you know, I mean, obviously they're still here on Memorial Day for the ones that are gone, but I'm just saying it's just an honor. So if you can be there, you know, just remember and, you know, we'll have all the other veterans in our thoughts and prayers. And with that, can I have a motion and a second to enter the meeting? Motion. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passed. Have a great night. Everybody get home safe.